This is my work avec plaisir and it consists of a mural made up out of several beds uh, and on the beds you see several creatures uh, resting. Avec plaisir really refers to the invention of uh, or the loss of innocence. When you're a child you go to bed and where uh, the realm of the dreams uh, gets mixed with the realm of guilt, of sexuality, of discovery and uh, shutting down your bodily uh, elements, your bodily rhythms in order to dream is a very healthy uh, thing to do. Lots of the paintings on this mural are dealing with hibernation. Uh, lots of animals go into hibernation, for example fish go and hide underwater amongst the plants, lower their heart rates, lower their blood pressure, lower, in, lower the breathing rhythm and uh, go in a state of uh, torpor. And this state is quite interesting. A uh, state of innocence, of vulnerability, and this kind of vulnerability I wanted to address. For example, there are paintings dealing with uh, changelings, children that have been swapped at birth. My sister, when I was a child, told me I was swapped at birth with a uh, troll baby because she couldn't understand me. And this feeling of being misunderstood or misinterpreted as a young queer kid is something that is a very interesting notion. And therefore, lots of the animals depicted here have um, multiple identities, are in a very undefined state. You have chimeras, uh, you know, mythical creatures that are both lions, snakes and goats. You have, um, you have mermaids, which are considered uh, less monstrous, but are very poetic nonetheless. Half fish, half beautiful woman. Uh, but then also there are seahorses, which really exist, and in which the men really carry the children home, uh, carry the children and they're fully grown. And I think this, um, this idea of mixed identities, identities that are, that are in flux, identities that come together, um, are sometimes considered monstrous, sometimes considered poetic. And I'd li like to see how um, this decision is taken. Um, when is something a monster? When is something poetic?